Everyone is saying Photoshop actions are difficult. But why? I make tons of actions every day, because most of the time, we are doing same things repeatedly in Photoshop. Like removing backgrounds. With actions, Photoshop allows us to make the shortcut to them. But how to make it? Well, for this purpose, there comes my easy PC formula, which starts with don't. Keep in your mind that actions are not AI based. They are dumb, like coding. So, don't use brush, pen, or any selection tools. Use auto tools instead. Don't touch your layers if you have multiple. Try using Alt plus square bracket for moving between layers and Control plus square brackets to change their position. Drag and drop is also not allowed. Don't change your file name and location if you are importing or exporting files in action. And that's it. These are the major mistakes that you have to avoid in order to make action. And it is just that simple. Let me show you. I am going to make an action that sharpens my image, change its dimensions, and retouched a little bit. So from actions, new action. Name it and choose from function keys for your action to play. You can select control and shift in combination. Now, notice my each and every move. For dimensions, I am simply going to the image size. In this layer, I am going to sharpen my image. Control plus shift plus U to desaturate my image. Now from filters, apply hypus. Adjust a reasonable amount and change its blend mode to overlay. I am merging my layers and copying them for retouching. I can touch my layers because I start with only one layer. Now for retouching, I am using my skin finer tool. Leaving it to default mode and fading it a little bit. And there we go. Let's check it. And that's good. But what if I want from my action to let me choose the fading amount? So I simply click here. Now this action stops and lets you choose the fading amount. Furthermore, you can also add messages from here. In advance, you can add conditions, which is really cool. Let's try it on another image. Yeah, it's perfect. Now if I give you some important tips. Then firstly, figure out your steps before recording an action. This will save a lot of your extra clicks. And take as much time as you want while recording. Because actions didn't notice the time between your steps. And you can also modify it after recording. Now try it yourself and make your work 10x faster. You can get my remove background action and retouching tool from my description. But to get it, you have to click the subscribe button and also the bell icon. Okay, I am sorry. I am just kidding. That's all free for you. Enjoy it. But if you do so, I will be very happy. Comment down any question, I will surely answer you. Meet you in the next video. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go.